From the prehistoric days of the Avengers one million years ago, to the distant future, the Phoenix Force has endured as a symbol of life, rebirth, and unimaginable cosmic power in the far reaches of the universe. But the Phoenix still needs a home and this being finds it in the White Hot Room. Located outside of time and space, the White Hot Room is a realm where all the hosts of the Phoenix Force converge. Now, this place is becoming relevant in the mutant comics because, after Fall of X, several of the inhabitants of Krakoa were transported to the White Hot Room. That is why, in this video, we will explain what the White Hot Room is and what role it plays in the Marvel Universe. The White Hot Room exists within the Macron Crystal, on the edges of the Marvel Multiverse. Also known as the Place Above, the Mysterium Tremendum, the Heart of Creation and by a dozen other names, the White Hot Room is usually depicted as a huge, empty place, but it can take other forms. This dimension debuted in a story in Classic X-Men No. 8 by Chris Claremont, John Bolton, and Glynis Oliver, and was first named in New X-Men No. 152. A dying Jean Grey joined the Phoenix Force for the first time in the White Hot Room, which functions as a waiting room for all Phoenix Force wielders. When one of the bearers dies, part of their soul comes to this realm and can remain in this place for all eternity. By existing outside of time, Phoenix guests from all eras can meet simultaneously regardless of what era they come from. Beyond the Phoenix Force, the White Hot Room has served as a home for Jean Grey and her daughter, Rachel Summers. During her time as the wielder of the Phoenix, Echo spent time in this realm while fighting the adversary, an ancient mystical entity. The White Hot Room also houses past and future hosts such as the Avengers 1 million Firehair, the Sheer Warrior Rookshear, and Quentin Quire, the telepath also known as Kid Omega. Magic, one of the five Phoenix wielders during Avengers vs. X-Men, has also been seen in the White Hot Room and it is believed that the other four wielders from that time are also there. The White Hot Room has also served as a container for the Void, the Sentry's evil counterpart, as well as the essence of Exitar the Executioner, a world-destroying celestial. When Jean Grey piloted a shuttle carrying the X-Men to Earth without proper radiation shielding, she sent a telepathic cry for help to the universe, and the Phoenix responded. Although the full details of Jean's interaction with the Phoenix were not revealed for years, it was revealed that the Phoenix took her to the White Hot Room while radiation consumed her body. When Jean accepted the Phoenix Force, the cosmic entity used it as a base to create a human body for itself, while the real Jean was placed in a regenerating cocoon to heal her wounds. When the shuttle crashed in New York's Jamaica Bay, the Phoenix emerged from the White Hot Room and took Jean's place in the X-Men. The cocoon where the real Jean was found sank under the water and remained there until she was found and rescued by the Avengers. While impersonating Jean, the Phoenix eventually became corrupted and became Dark Phoenix, who destroyed a galaxy before taking his own life. After this, the Phoenix returned to the White Hot Room in the pages of classic X-Men No. 43. In the White Hot Room, the Phoenix, still attached to a part of Jean Grey's soul, appeared as the White Phoenix of the Crown, a pure and powerful form that represents the perfect synthesis between the Phoenix Force and Jean. There, the White Phoenix found a tower under construction and the man working on it. After helping him, the White Phoenix realized that the construction worker was actually death and the tower he built was a resting place for all the beings the Dark Phoenix had eliminated. After talking about the nature of life and death, the construction worker helped the White Phoenix understand how much the Phoenix Force had influenced Jean's life and appreciate the good they did together. The Builder sent the Phoenix Force to roam the universe, while the original Jean was eventually cured and returned to the X-Men, where she still remembered this encounter with death. After Jean Grey was brought back to life, she and the Phoenix had several encounters inside the White Hot Room. When Jean was killed by Zorn in New X-Men No. 150, Jean and the Phoenix were sent to the White Hot Room. Grey was eventually reborn in a future where Cyclops abandoned the X-Men and a beast possessed by the villain Sublime destroyed much of the world. 
After this, Jean entered the White Hot Room and met several other Phoenix Force hosts. She once again became the White Phoenix of the Crown and transported the entire universe into the White Hot Room where she used her power to change history, destroying this timeline and creating a new one where Cyclops never left the X-Men, preventing so this whole apocalyptic future. In the new timeline, the Phoenix continued to heal in the White Hot Room until a group of Shear summoned him prematurely. When the weakened Phoenix attempted to resurrect and inhabit Jean's corpse on Earth, Jean manifested the Dark Phoenix disguise as a way to warn the X-Men. To fix the Phoenix's incomplete resurrection process, Wolverine attempted to send the Phoenix back to the White Hot Room by severely injuring Jean's body. They both returned to the White Hot Room as it was evident that something was wrong with their union. They stayed there to heal and only came out to search for fragments of the Phoenix Force that had been scattered throughout the universe when the Shear accelerated the release of the Phoenix. In later stories, Beast brought the original X-Men to the present and they were stuck in that time. The Phoenix attempted to seize this gene, but after rejecting the Cosmic Force, it eliminated her and used her essence to revive the original gene, who also rejected her. Somehow, young Jean's soul reached the White Hot Room and took control of that realm until she managed to persuade the Phoenix to revive her. Beyond Jean Grey, several other heroes and villains have spent time in the White Hot Room. When Scarlet Witch changed reality in House of M, Psylocke and Rachel Summers were dragged into the White Hot Room saving them from being altered by Wanda's magic. During the war between Asgard and the Shi'ar, the powerful Thor and Kid Omega visited this kingdom. The Six, a group of mutants working for S.W.O.R.D., also used the Hot White Room to forge Mysterium, a rare and valuable metal that helped establish the mutant home in the cosmos. After parting ways with Jean Grey, Phoenix gathered several heroes and villains for a tournament to decide who would be his next host in the Enter the Phoenix storyline. While waiting to compete in various playing fields throughout the Marvel Universe, Wolverine, Captain America, Shang-Chi, and the other potential Phoenix hosts were locked in the White Hot Room during the competition. After Echo became the Phoenix's new host, he used his power to bring an ancient mystical entity known as the Adversary to the White Hot Room where he held it captive before destroying it. As revealed in Immortal X-Men No. 16, the White Hot Room is now home to thousands of mutants from Krakoa. After the Orcus group attacked the Hellfire Gala, Professor Hope Summers, Destiny, Exodus, and thousands of other mutants landed in a barren wasteland. They wandered through the desert until they found Mother Righteous, an ambitious clone of Mr. Sinister's deceased wife. Mother Righteous transported Krakoa's sister island into the White Hot Room and the mutants settled there, despite the threats on that island. Between their powers and the island's resources, the mutants have found a way to survive inside the White Hot Room, but it is unclear how the Phoenix will react when he discovers that there are several mutants inside his home. For now, that's all for this video. Tell us if you already knew about the White Hot Room and what you think the future holds for mutants within this kingdom. Follow us on our new WhatsApp channel so you don't miss out on the latest news on comics, superheroes, Power Rangers, kaijus and much more. The link is in the description of this video. We are the Comic Awakens and we will see you in the next video.